All right, we are back in my kitchen. Uh, Scarlett is here with me. She, again, has her hair pulled up. She's got her apron on. She is ready to roll. We are gonna make a puff pastry Danish today. Uh, and so a couple of quick ingredients we have is I have some uh, puff pastry. This is all thawed out. We have an egg for an egg wash later. A little bit of flour roll out of our pastry. We have some sugar, cream cheese. I have frozen berries and then a little bit of uh, vanilla that we're gonna put into our base. So, uh, to get started, we're gonna make our base first and then we'll do our pastry. So I have uh, my cream cheese and then I have my sugar. And I'm just gonna kinda mash these together. And I'm gonna hit it with just about a capful. I put an egg in the water. Oh, she put the egg in the water. That's gonna, it goes the other way. The water goes into the egg, sis, but that's okay. We'll get there. Uh, can you crack that egg? Taking a big risk here. Yeah, can you open it? You want me to do it? Let's see if she... There, oh, good job, you got it. All right, good job. Okay, add the water. Add, pour this water in that egg. Yeah. Okay, and now take that fork and stir the whole thing. No, the fork, no, no, that's the pastry brush. Use the fork, that one. Yeah, stir that, try to keep it in the bowl though. Okay, so I have my cream cheese filling. I'm gonna flour my countertop. That's great, good job. Don't do anything now, just wait. Okay, so I have my uh, puff pastry sheets and these are thought out and you can find these in the refrigerator section at uh, any grocery store. It's usually by the Pillsbury pastries or the biscuits or cinnamon rolls. Uh, and I'm just gonna roll this out into a little rectangle. And then what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna cut some little corners out, so little squares out. So they're one inch by one inch squares. And the reason why is because we're gonna do like a little like a little strudel. We're gonna braid this one. Or do it. Hey, stop, please. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna get these. And then we're gonna cut these at like a like an angle. And you don't want to make the, the center too narrow because you want somewhere for the for the filling to rest. If you cut it too narrow, uh, your filling might leach out like when you're when you have this in the oven. I have the oven already preheated or preheating uh, 425. And these are gonna take uh, anywhere from like 10 to 15 minutes. So the way we're gonna build this, we're gonna do a couple different types here. I'm gonna take a little bit of my filling and just slap that in the middle. And then the recipe that I'm giving you is for blueberry. I have mixed berries in the freezer that we've been using for smoothies and things, so I'm just gonna use some of those. So I've got my uh, middle filling and then the berries on top, and then I'm just gonna fold these over. And then I'll bring these braids. Good, good job. All right, so we'll just keep going back and forth on these until we have the whole thing wrapped up. It's like a little, little mummy here. I imagine the process is a little bit more difficult than you do. All right, back and forth, back and forth. So we get to the edge. And this is gonna pop up, so if you have little like imperfections, don't worry about it. These are gonna look really nice once they, um, dog ears so we're just cutting little little corners so you guys can see hear how that looks right okay so like that and then uh, I'm gonna fold these all in and again if this doesn't look perfect it's okay once this pops up in the oven what we have here is a laminated dough so what that means is uh, 
Like a croissant is a laminated dough. There's typically not any leavening agent in that, but there's layers of dough here. And between each layer of dough, there's some sort of fat. So. Uh, what we got on this is You mix those, just those are great. You don't need to mix it anymore. All right. And we put our little berries here. Whoa. She just flung egg everywhere, everybody. That was great. Okay, so we got that. And then we're gonna do one more, because I like how those look when they come out. Uh, again, our knife. Making a little dog ear. And there's a there's a bunch of different um, ways to do this, and you can just go on Google or YouTube or anywhere, and you can find all kinds of different patterns that you can use. She's been watching Disney movies. What's what is that? What song is that from? It's a song Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's right, Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. All right. a little bit of cheese in. Look at a bitch. And then we'll put our berries in here. Try to get those in the middle. Mine are kind of falling about here. But, all right, and then we'll get this onto our sheet pan. And then Scarlett is gonna give us a quick egg wash. Can you egg wash those, please? Huh? Just brush them. You do the mummy one, I'll do the other ones. Actually, I don't want anything on the berries. Just do around the outside. Okay. On top? On top, yes. Okay. All right, good job. Keep going. Goodness, this mess. Good job. She does that, I'll get cleaned up here. Good? Okay, let me take over. We gotta get it in the oven. Okay. All right. I already put it in the oven. Hey, don't touch it. You're gonna get egg yolk on your fingers. Okay, so brush all these edges. This is gonna uh, let the pastry, when it cooks, get a nice golden brown. I need a big fork. You don't need a big fork, what do you need a fork for? I need a fork too, maybe. Oh, you don't. You don't. It's already mixed. It's really, it makes really well. Uh, this, you don't want to use like butter or fat on this. You use the egg wash because this has already got layers of, of butter. And that's when you make a laminated dough, the puff pastry is a laminated dough. So basically you have a dough, you'll roll that out, you'll smear it with butter, and then you'll tri-fold that, and then you'll roll it out again, smear it with butter, tri-fold it, put that in the fridge for a half an hour, roll it out, butter, trifold, and then continue the process. So you're getting all these microscopic layers of dough. And then when this goes in the oven really hot, as the uh, butter or fat starts to melt, uh, creating steam, it's where you get your expansion. So that's why our dough is gonna be puffy. And this is like an omelet, the amount of egg wash we put on here. Uh, the, uh, I have that one egg and then about a tablespoon and a half of water just to thin that out to get a nice little layer. I also have, talking a million miles an hour, a little bit of sugar if you want. You can you can sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top of that. What are you doing? She's been watching the Jordan series with me, so she's learning uh, all about defense and how to block a shot. So, uh, quit it. All right, so this is gonna go in the oven for about 12 minutes, and then we'll pull these bad boys out and take a peek. All right, see you soon. All right, it's been about 18 minutes. My timer just beat. I was rallying kids, so the oven's off, and these are coming out right now. So you guys can see we did a few different uh, patterns. I really do like the, the braided little mummy looking ones. This one's really cute though. It's puffed up, so the, the damaged edges, you can't really tell uh, they were damaged as much as they were. And then here's just the basic folded over one. Uh, also, a couple things I wanted to, to note is that you can fill these with apple or anything that you want, uh, any sort of fruits or berries or whatever. It's going to be great. Uh, 
we got a little reckless with our um, with our egg wash. So we have a little bit scorching around the edges. So when you're putting your egg wash on, shh, quiet. When you're putting your egg wash on, try not to slather it or slap it around everywhere. Uh, so we're gonna let these cool down. Uh, we're gonna give them, I don't know, 10 minutes to cool down and then we'll crack into these bad boys and see how good, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of powdered sugar as well uh, for a little extra pretty on top because someone likes a little extra pretty on top. So we'll get these all, 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 uh, all plated up and we'll be back in a few. All right, we uh, have these out and they've cooled down. So we have three different uh, ones that we've made here. Actually, the one that I didn't like the most going on the sheet pan is the one that I actually think is the, the best looking one. This was the one that we just folded over, crimped the edges of it. You see that puffed up really big. And then we have the three here uh, that we braided. You wanna feel them? Actually, I'm gonna let you eat them, okay? Uh, we're gonna hit ours with just a little bit of powdered sugar. Uh, just to make it look a little extra cute. You get a little on the counter, that's okay. We can wipe that out. So we're just gonna dust these with a little bit of powdered sugar, like so, and then, which one would you like to try? Um, this one. That one? Let me cut it, okay? Okay. All right, we're gonna cut a little end off. Where's you? Oh, it's warm. Here, you wanna bite? Eat it. Here, take a bite. Take, take a bite, it's crumbly. Is it good? Tell the camera it's good. Is it good, Grandma? That's not Grandma, but whatever. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, there is your task for the week. I hope it goes well. Share your photos. We'll see you next time.